Alright. Hi guys, this is Kid Flash here, and welcome back to part 7 of Super Mario Sunshine. And, um, before we begin, I got some explaining. Oh, and look at that, there's the cutscene again. Guess I was wrong. Got some explaining to do. First of all, I'm not gonna be doing the, um, sped up and play videos for the blue coins like I said I would. Because I came to the conclusion that, um, I'll never get better at commentating unless, like, you know, if I just keep on avoiding it like I'm trying to do. But, anyways. We will be getting the peanut. We'll be getting the blue coins of Peanut Park, and first of all, we'll begin by shooting the cannon way in, out in the middle of nowhere. My theory is that he just hits like some invisible wall and he gets sent there. But you want to go to mission. I, I what's it? We want to what? What are you? Six, right? Six. If my post comment <laughs> past self can realize that before I can. Um. Yes, this is also post commentary, and there's a reason behind that. The reason is, I fail at Let's Playing. Like, seriously. I mean, like, this is, um, footage from my recording, but, like, what happened was, I recorded with the PC a microphone instead of the microphone I normally use. So I was just, I was just playing for a solid hour with a headset on that didn't do anything. So, I'm just gonna post commentary on this again. I guess it's, I mean, I can't be too bitter at myself. This is just a learning experience. You know, make sure I'll never do it again. And I'm kind of glad, actually, that, that there's, like, you know, you, you, you have to learn something. But anyways, this is the blue coins of Peanut Park here. There are 20 in the actual park itself. And one thing I also forgot is to do the secret missions of Peanut Park. So what we'll be doing is collecting the 20 coins of Peanut Park and then doing the secret mission, which is the, the Yoshi secret secret mission. Anyways, you can just get some coins over here like I'm showing. Like, I'm, again, I'm post-commentating because I failed the recording, so I'm just... So I'll probably be really detached from the actual game itself, so, you know, I won't know what I'm talking about. I think right now I'm trying to get a bird, and that bird is just eluding my grasp at all costs. I think I give up later. Oh no, I shouldn't spoil future events even though I know all of it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, yeah, I think this is the point at which I'm gonna search some more. <laughs> Apparently not. Anyways, oh, there's the bird that's kind of kill. Snipe him from afar. And no, it doesn't work. So we'll just kill these guys. And, and that guy just avenged me for killing that guy. I don't know, like, what? That's so crazy how they just die like that. Like, you get them wet, and then you get them to shock themselves. It's pretty awesome. Pretty, actually. They give you more coins if you do it that way instead of just stomping on them. Anyways, let's go up here. And why is there all so many of these freaking Koopas? Like, why, why do the park generals, like let them these guys in but anyways these are these red marks there's a lot of them in the, um, for blue coin hunting basically you spray it and then a blue coin will appear in the corresponding shape i sprayed the x and x appears be careful and be fast because these are timed they will um disappear eventually so you have um you know and i'll just explain visually it's not too hard to figure out anyways there's a giant pianta tree i guess that's one of the many attractions of peanut park because they're really aren't that many attractions in Peanut Park, and not that many people. There's only like four or five inhabitants, and I'm pretty sure a lot of them are workers. In fact, I don't even know if there are any are like fair goers in here. But oh well. Here's another attraction, the Ted... What, what, the, what the hell are these guys' names? I know they have a name. Okay, well, whatever, but they're, they're a tourist attraction. So let's kill them, because that's how all tourist attractions work. For our entertainment. And you smash one and they all die. I'm sure that reminds me of something, but I don't remember. So yeah, um, about Dragon Ball Z. Wait, no, I have nothing to say about Dragon Ball Z, never mind. Anyways, there's a bird here, let's try and kill him. They're supposed to, I'm pretty sure it's like you spray them three times and they turn into a blue coin, but I'm sure it's way more than three times, I don't know. What's with that pineapple just in the middle of that shrine? It's so weird. Maybe that's like the power source that like powers this entire park. You take that pineapple out, and the roller coaster stop, the merry-go-round stop, that guy's pan flute stops working. Every the park just goes to shit. I swear. I swear. Anyways, there's a bird again, and see that's way more than three, but I still got him nonetheless. Let's just go down there. Slowly, slowly slide down the wall like that. That does not work in real life. I know. I've tried. There's a beach over there, and we'll be getting to that later. Anyways, this is the sewer place where we would have done the whole sketchy place for the, um, fifth level. I mean, fifth episode. Let's just get a refill of water just because it's there, you know. It always sucks when you're just in the middle of the air with no water. Anyways, back here, we spray this graffiti. Spraying the uh, graffiti gives you a blue coin if you haven't already guessed. Pretty obscure place for graffiti, but I mean, like, 
I noticed spraying the graffiti does make the place look better, and I think that's like a main message of the game, like cleanliness or something like that. I think, yeah, Miyamoto was just going through spring cleaning when he was doing this. But anyways, here's another ancient glyph symbol, the triangle. We'll spray this triangle, and like, I don't know how this works, like, it's like infused with the ground. I don't know, maybe with Shadow Mario is just into some crazy ass freaking blood rituals. But anyways, um, yeah, it's as we learned, it's not actually Baby uh, Shadow Mario. It's ba uh, Baby, not Baby Bowser. I keep on saying that, but Baby Bowser is a Baby Bowser, just Bowser Jr. who's pulling all the strings here, which makes him significantly less cool. Anyways, we got 11 uh, blue coins here out of the 20 in this park. We're making some pretty good he headway or leeway or whatever way. Let's go this way. Yeah, I actually said that. In my oh, there's the pineapple power source again. Alliteration for the win. There's a blue coin back here that we can get. I'm sipping on my, right now, if in case you're wondering, my black cherry generic Coke, which is black cherry Coke is just a generic version of generic Dr. Pepper, Dr. Dynamite, which I do also drink. So it's just two generic things. Anyways, there's a blue coin in that gate. You want to wait till these ships go do a whole loop-de-loop, -loop, and then, you know, once they do the loop-de-loop, do you? And look at that. That's so unexpected, I did not know that would happen. Unless, you know, this is, I don't know, post-commentated. Anyways, only six more to go until we do the whole Yoshi fiasco thing. Not fiasco, what am I saying? I'm fiasco, how do I even know if it's gonna turn bad or not? Ho ho ho. Anyways, you wanna go over here, be yeah, behind the, wa not waterfall, behind the ferris wheel. Why are ferris wheels called ferris wheels? Because, like, are they, made, are they made of iron or something? I don't know. Ferris wheels pretty nothing to say about ferris wheels anyways beyond the subject of ferris wheels see that that blue coin almost disappeared if you wait too long they will disappear and you will have to do it again but you can try as many times as you would like it's just tedious to do if you fail it again and again and again and i should stop probably stop talking so fast as to not run out of commentary so much because i had to fill in an hour of post commentary because I, again, messed up. And the the horrible part about this, okay, there's one in this high rise, and oh no, I made, I did file, but I get a chance for redemption. I didn't know that would happen unless this is post commentary, yes. What was I gonna say? The sad part is, this isn't even the first time I failed. Um, right now, there's only the blue bird and this Yoshi shine we need, and I think Yoshi wants bananas. I tried to make a mental note of that. Or whatever fruit you want, I know I made a mental note of it, but yeah, this isn't the first time I actually failed. What happened? Like, so the second time, the second failure was that I wasn't recording with the right microphone, so this is why I'm post-commentary, but the first time I failed was I was doing the blue coins, and there's this, um, and I use debut capture software, that's the, um, the thing I use, but, um, and, like, I was planning on speeding up and, like, playing music, right, so I thought, like, I, like, I don't really know how to speed up and play videos, I'm sure I could search it up, but I was too lazy, right, and there's this feature that's, like, time-lapse, and I was like, oh, that's perfect for me, it's, um, so I selected two frames per second. I mean, um, a frame every two seconds, which I was like, yeah, so it'll go two times as fast. That's what I thought. But what I forgot, thought and forgot, is that it's not per like twice as fast. It's a frame every two seconds, which, which is that we record in 30 frames per second. So two frame, one frame every two seconds. Like this whole 15 minutes worth of like footage was just cut down to like 30 seconds. It was like crazy. Yeah, I was planning on showing it, but no. Anyways, we got only one more coin, and now that we have Yoshi, we can eat this butterfly for the last blue coin, and now that we have Yoshi again, we can um, go into the merry-go-round level. See, it's all streamlined, and there I go again using the word streamlined, stupid swimmer's vocabulary. I should start using, I should stop using smart vocabulary. But you know who, like, and actually no, I don't mind smart vocabulary. You need a orange Yoshi, by the way, for that. Cause um, you know who like has an awesome vocabulary? Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. I knew I could connect this, but yeah, like he has a pretty awesome vocabulary, and it's awesome. Like using a good vocabulary is pretty awesome if you do it right. Something like I need to explain something about myself, cause like the last part, I oh like to me personally, I kind of sounded like a smartass douchebag. Just just saying. Um, when I use vocabulary, I use vocabulary as a form of comedy. I find I don't like using it as a way of descri describing things, because you just sound, 
You almost sound dumb using smart vocabulary is the best way to put it. So I use vocabulary as a form of comedy. Um, last episode I was talking about like, you know, how this girl in her like class, my class was like, you know, like, like saying wrong answers and I was like getting mad at her. The reality wasn't, wasn't that they were wrong answers. I mean, most of the time they're right answers, but like, I just don't like it when people like flaunt their intelligence. I don't really enjoy that. I mean, maybe I'm being like super hypocritical here. I just, you know, I try to be as... I don't want to say humble, because the moment you say humble about yourself, all that is just thrown out the window. Anyways, let's just get off the subject, shall we? Man, it is hot in here. After I finish this video, I believe I'm going to turn on the fan. I hope my mic won't pick that up, though. But anyways, this is the blue coin mission. Um, once again, you have your flood for this round. There are two things in this whole orbital. Orbital. This planet of the Yoshi blocks. They're not really planets, anyways. I don't even... I should stop questioning the logic of Nintendo. I'm trying not to use the phrase Nintendo logic, but I just did. Anyways, ooh, that was a close one. Right, right, I almost... I, I don't know if I was going to make it or not. Okay, that's true. that joke's getting old. Anyways, we got four. We're doing pretty good. There's one over there. We're almost done. I don't... There's nothing really to talk about eight red coin missions. There are eight red coin missions. You get the eight red coins, and suddenly... A coin sp uh, shine spawns. I don't know why, but didn't I just say a few seconds ago that I'd stop questioning Nintendo logic? What's what's wrong? And ooh, I almost died. Not really, almost died. I'm, pr I'm doing pretty good on time. I don't. I won't like you know. The the thing that would probably kill me in this would be. On one hand, yes, running out of time would kill you, but I think falling off a cliff would be the more dangerous of the two. Anyways, here's the last red coin. I hope there's no one just like secretly watching me and hearing me, because that would just be so embarrassing. Anyways, that's, I think, the last shine of the video. Yep, seems like it. So anyways, that was the last shine. Hope you've enjoyed. Bye, I don't have a proper outro yet. See ya.